tonight to the Word of God, and we're turning to 1 John chapter 5, please. 1 John, and we're in chapter 5 tonight. 1 John chapter 5, almost away at the end of the New Testament. Now, you take your time and find the place this evening, because it's so important that we see this and read this from ourselves, for ourselves, as we read the Word of God. Now, 1 John chapter 5, verse 1, please. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ, is born of God, and every one that loveth him that begat loveth him, also that is begotten of him. And by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. In verse number 12, please. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. And these things have I written unto you, that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Amen. And we know that the Lord will add His blessing to the reading of His own precious truth. I want to begin tonight in sharing with you a great fear that I have. A great fear that I have tonight for so many good people. Good people. A great fear that I have for so many decent people. And a great fear that I have, friends, for so many lovely people. I fear tonight for so many good people. And I fear tonight, and I fear greatly, for so many decent people. And I fear greatly tonight for so many lovely people. Now, why should I fear for good people? Why should I fear for decent people? Why should I fear for such lovely people who wouldn't do you any harm? I'll tell you why I fear for them tonight. I fear for them because of what they believe. I fear for good people tonight because of what they believe. And I fear for so many decent people tonight because of what they believe. And I fear tonight for so many lovely people tonight because of what they believe. And what they believe tonight, perhaps, is what you believe. What they believe and what you believe, you believe is right. And the sad reality is, friends, you can't turn them from what they believe. There's so many people tonight who believe they're going to heaven. There's so many people tonight who believe they're going to be in heaven. And there's so many people tonight who have the assurance of heaven because of what they believe. But what they don't realize tonight, and perhaps what you don't believe tonight, is this. What they believe, the devil believes the very same thing. And perhaps what you believe tonight 
I want to tell you to make sure the devil believes the very same thing. Do you know why he was saved on the 26th of August, 1985? As you already know this, some of you. It was a Monday night, and I was saved in the Church of Ireland Church Hall in Ochnacloy, the parish of Carnteel and Crilly. And I was born again that night. I was saved by God's grace that night. I was washed in the blood that night. But for years, friends, I believed something so much that I believed I was going to heaven because I believed it. And little did I realize the devil believed the same thing. Now, what did I believe all those years? I'll tell you what I believed. I believed in what we in the Church of Ireland used to quote, known as the Apostles' Creed. Do you know what the Apostles' Creed says? It says, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and I believe that tonight, friends, and so should you. But let me tell you, the, belief, the devil believes it. Sure, the devil believes in God the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. And then it goes on to say, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. Sure, the devil believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Who was conceived of the Holy Ghost and born of the Virgin Mary. Sure, the devil believes He was conceived of the Holy Ghost. And sure, the devil believes He was born of the Virgin Mary who suffered under Pontius Pilate and was crucified, died, and was buried. Sure, the devil believes he suffered under Pontius Pilate, love. And the devil believes he was crucified. And the devil believed that he died, suffered, bled, and died. And then the, the Apostle Creed goes on to say, it goes on to say that, and the third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven. Listen, friends, tonight, sure, the devil believes he rose from the dead. That was the darkest day the devil ever experienced when Christ rose again from the dead. My friends, listen to me. Just because you believe in God, that's not enough, friends. Just because you believe these things, that doesn't make you a Christian, and that doesn't save you. There's many things people believe, and it sounds right, and it's, and, it's, and it's lovely, and it's lovely, and it's very appreciated, and all the rest of it. But my friend, these things, no matter how lovely they are, I can tell you, to you, the devil believes them. The devil believes them. And there's so many good people tonight, and upright people tonight, and decent people tonight, and lovely people tonight, and they believe they're going to heaven on believing all this. Just believing is not enough, sir. Just believing is not enough, dear. What does God really want us to believe tonight? Never you mind anybody. What does God ask us to believe? What does God say we must believe? I want you to notice in 1 John chapter 5 tonight in verse 1, there's three things tonight God wants you to believe. There's three things God wants you to see. I want you to notice in that verse tonight the scope of people. Now, will you listen to the scope of people? It says there, whosoever, whosoever believeth. Now, listen, what does it mean, whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ? It's not just believing that Jesus exists, love. 
You know, friends, this evening, look at the scope of people, whosoever. I love that word, whosoever. Do you know what that tells me tonight? That tells me tonight there's not one person, there's not one person outside the love of God. Unsaved friend tonight, will you listen to me? You're not outside the love of God. The worst person in Kilkeel town tonight is not outside the love of God. The worst person in the county of Down tonight is not outside the love of God. Listen to me. The worst person in the whole of Ireland is not outside the love of God. No, sir. No. And the worst person in this world no matter how wicked they are, no matter how evil they are, you take this friend tonight, they're not outside the love of God. It says, whosoever believeth. But George, shall I believe? What do you mean you believe? I'll tell you what God wants you to believe tonight, two great truths. God wants you to believe tonight that you're a lost sinner. Because there's not one person in heaven tonight who never believed that there were a lost sinner. Unless you believe tonight that you're a lost sinner, you'll never be saved. Because the Bible says tonight, the Bible says we all have sinned. Listen, that's one thing, friend, you need to believe tonight. Who will of all men to be saved and come to knowledge of the truth? And that's one truth you need to believe tonight, that you're a lost sinner. Friend, do you believe tonight you're a lost sinner? Do you believe tonight that you're a sinner in God's sight? Do you know what the Bible says in Isaiah 64 and 6? It says there, we are all as an unclean thing, and our righteousness are just like filthy rags. If you're ever going to be saved tonight, whosoever believeth needs to believe that they're a lost sinner this evening. That's what the Bible teaches, and mind you, it's the Bible's God's Word this evening. Do you believe that tonight? You're a lost sinner. There's something else the Bible wants you to believe tonight. The Bible not only wants you to believe that you're a lost sinner, but the Bible wants you to believe, and God wants you to believe tonight that you're a loved sinner. If there's anything God wants you to know tonight, is to know that you're loved. You see, unless you believe these things, friend, you'll never be in heaven. You'll never be saved. Every person in heaven believed that they were sinners, and every person in heaven tonight believed tonight that they were loved sinners. Sure, what does the John 3, 16 say? For God so loved the world, that he gave his only son. Sure, what does Romans 5 and 8 say? God commanded his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I'll tell you, friend, tonight, it doesn't matter what sin you've committed. God loves you. It doesn't matter who you are tonight, God loves you. Whosoever believeth that they are lost sinners, and whosoever believeth that they are loved sinners, that's the scope of people. Did you notice First John chapter 5, not only do you have the scope of people, but you have got the Savior of people. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ. As I have said already in this message tonight, friends, that means more than you believing that Jesus exists. The devil believes that Jesus exists. And I'll tell you another thing. It means more than believing that Jesus is the Son of God, because throughout the Scriptures you'll find where the very demon's friend confessed that he was the Son of God. 
What does John, 1 John 5 and 1 mean when it says, Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ, I'll tell you what it means, friend. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Savior of sinners, and who puts their trust in Him alone. Do you believe tonight that Christ is the Savior of sinners? Because my friend tonight, that's what you need to believe. Friend, there's more to it than believing in God, and there's more to it than believing that Jesus is the Son of God. Listen to me this evening. You need to believe that you're a lost sinner, and you need to believe that you're a love sinner, but you need to believe that, that Jesus Christ is the Savior of sinners. And you must trust in Him this evening to be saved. And you know, friend, this evening, we must remember this tonight. We dare not trust in anyone else tonight. There's people, good people, upright people, lovely people, and they're trusting in churches. And they're, church, and they're trusting in creeds and catechisms. They're not saved, love. They're not saved, sir. He that believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. It doesn't say anywhere in my Bible that he that was baptized is born of God as a baby. There's nothing in the Word of God that teaches he that is confirmed is born of God. Not at all. Listen to the Word of God. He that believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Friend, tonight Jesus is the Savior of sinners. Many, many years ago, a Dr. Chalmers was holding gospel meetings away in the hands of Scotland, away in the middle of nowhere. And as he preached one evening, he preached on the parable of the ten virgins. He preached on the five ways. And then he preached on the five foolish. He told the congregation that night, the five foolish, they might have been more prettier than the five wise. But the door was shut when the time was called. And he said, be careful tonight that the door doesn't shut on you because it can. There was a wee Scottish woman who was desperately troubled that night. And she sent word the next morning for Dr. Chalmers to go and see her. She was so troubled. It was a wet in a wild, windy hind of Scotland night or morning. Dr. Chalmers headed for her home where she lived. But to get to her home, he had to cross over a stream, a wide stream. And across that wide stream, there was a thin plank, and he was afraid to venture on it. And the wee woman shouts out through the window, Dr. Barfield, Dr. Barfield, the plank's all right. You trust your weight on it. It'll bring you across. It's been tested through the years of time. And all he had to do was take her at her word. And what he thought couldn't hold him held him as he went across. And as she watched Dr. Barfield going across the plank like this, God spoke to her. And God said to her, as that thin plank safely brings Dr. Chalmers across, so you must trust yourself to my son. 
the time Dr. Chalmers got to her house, she came down the stairs, threw her arms around him, and said, Dr. Chalmers, I've got it, I've got it, I have trusted myself to him. And that's what you've got to do tonight, friends. You know why? See, when it comes to your dying moment, if you're trusting in churches and you're trusting in creeds and you're trusting in good works, they'll snap and you'll fall into a lost sinner's hell. He that believeth that Jesus is the Christ Believing that Jesus is the Christ tonight is putting your faith and your trust in him to save because he will save. He that believeth in him shall not be ashamed. Not be ashamed. That's why he died for you, dear, on the cross. And as he hung upon that cross, listen, you were on his mind. I was on his mind. And I'll tell you, friend, your sin was on his body. And everyone born into this world is guilty tonight concerning the death of God's Son because it was our sin that put him to the cross. But the Lord Jesus says tonight, him or her that cometh to me, I will in no ways cast out. Do you believe tonight that Jesus is the Christ? I want you to forget tonight all other silly notion. And more than me wants you to forget all these silly notions. It's God wants you to forget all these silly notions tonight. You need to believe on the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. Only the Lord Jesus can save the never-dying soul. Only the Lord Jesus Christ can take you to heaven. He that believeth, that's the scope of people tonight that Jesus is the Christ. That's the Savior of people. The next three phrases is born of God. That's the salvation of people. The moment you trust Christ, you're born of God. If you have never came as a sinner, you have never been born of God. You may be baptized, but you have never been born of God. You may have been confirmed, but you have never been born of God. You may be the most decentest person that ever lived, ah, but you have never believed. You have never been born of God because you have never believed that Jesus is the Christ. How do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? By trusting in Him and Him alone. That's how you believe that Jesus is the Christ. The moment you come as a lost sinner, you know, and you come just the way you are, and you believe in all your heart that He died on that old rugged cross for you, suffering the pain and suffering the agony and suffering the shame, and you realize that He did that for you, and you believe in your heart that He died and rose again, and you accept Him into your heart as your Savior, at that moment, then you're born of God. You remember what the Lord Jesus said to the religious man, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The salvation of people tonight is when they're born of God. 
Do you believe tonight that you're lost? You need to. Because that's what drives men and women to the Savior tonight. They believe they're lost. And what drives men and women to the Savior also is because they believe he, they're loved. But do you believe tonight that Jesus is the Christ? Do you believe tonight that he died for you? Do you believe tonight that he's the only Savior? Do you believe tonight enough to trust him? You need to be born of God tonight. You need to be born again tonight. You need to be washed in His blood tonight. You need to be born again of the Spirit tonight. You need to be saved by His grace tonight. Nothing else will save. Only Christ, the Lord Jesus. Will you listen to the wee text tonight? One more time. Listen to me. Whosoever that believeth that Jesus is the Christ, is born of God. And friend, tonight, you need saved. You could be in your grave this night, next week. And you need to come tonight and believe on Him tonight for the salvation of your immortal soul. Let's bear in prayer. Lord, tonight very clearly thou hast shown us the one who is the Savior. Lord, tonight will you please give wisdom Give deciding grace for sinners tonight to let go of the silly notions. No matter how special they may seem to be, to let go of them and to cling to the Lord Jesus. Oh God, tonight, help please, we pray. Sinners, to understand and to trust the Savior. We leave the eternal spiritual matters of this meeting to thee and pray, Lord, thou would be pleased to save in Jesus' name. Amen.